Welcome back. So in the previous video, we learned how to relate two post types to each other. We use the relationship field for that. But in this video, we're going to learn how to use the post object field. And you're going to realize that they are pretty much or probably exactly the same thing. It's just more of a UI thing in the administration panel. So if we go to add field and we go down to field type and we just do post object and we'll call the field related posts. I'll oh, make it just related post actually. And we want to restrict this to purely posts. So let's pretend we were going to limit uh, or just sorry, show a related post to that specific uh, team member. Okay, so we'll just limit it to posts. And then we'll hit update. And I'll go into my post section here and I'll create a post. So this is a test blog post. I'll then go into my team member page and click on my name and go to edit post. And underneath here, you should see related posts now. Now they are essentially the same thing. The locations field, which is using the relation relationship field and the related post, which is using the post object field with ACF. They do exactly the same thing. They just look a bit different. So uh, in my opinion, the relationship field looks prettier and easier. However, if you just want simplicity, you can go for this one. And as you can see, because I limited it to only show posts, I can link this team member up with a specific post. I'll click on update. I'll then go into the team member template and underneath here, I'll do PHP. Actually, sorry, I'll receive it first. I'll call it related underscore post equals get field related post because that is the ID of that field go down and do PHP if related post, close it off and then just do pre PHP echo print R related post. So we can see what we can use. Let's go and have a look at the page now and we have an error here. So let's see what's happened. Go back into the code. And I typed echo incorrectly. All right, so let's refresh that. There we go. So it looks exactly the same as it did with the relationship field and we can just manipulate it. So we can go and do a post title. So let's just grab the post title. PHP echo related post actually because it's a, an object like that. So we'll save that and refresh it. There you go. And we can link it so we can just do a href and then do PHP echo get the permalink and then link it to related post ID. Close it off. Close off the anchor tag as well. Refresh it again. We should see the blog post. If we click into it, it'll take us to the actual blog post. You can obviously grab the content of the post and the excerpt as well, but because we have nothing in there, actually, let's go, that was from a previous test I was doing. I will go to post, we'll go to edit. We'll just type test in there, for example, and go back and you'll see test comes up there now. So you can just grab it via PHP echo related post, post content. We'll take away the pre tags as well. Refresh. There you go. So we have the the link to the post. I'm sorry that it, it's very unformatted. I'm purely just trying to focus on the code and not the actual design. Um, now, what if we actually wanted to link to multiple posts and not just one? So we need to go into our custom fields again go into that specific field settings and change it so that we can select multiple values. Okay. We'll click on update and then we'll go back to our team member page and we'll edit it. And it's going to look a bit different now. It's going to have multiple options there. So let's create another post. We'll just do, uh, this is a test. Publish that one, go back. And we should be able to now grab this as a test as well. So we've got two posts related to it. But if we go and refresh, we're going to have a problem. It's not going to actually come up. 
I'll just do some breaks here. Now, the reason why it's not going to come up is because now it's in an array format. So if we go and do pre PHP echo print R related post. Refresh it. Now it's an array of objects. So we need to do a for each loop between them. Now in if you were going to do a multiple field, you might want to call the call the actual variable related posts. But you have to do that when you obviously create the field in ACF. Because if you rename it after you've got data there, it's going to lose the data or it won't lose it, but it will be stored in different variables. So it, you won't be able to query it. So I'm just going to call the variable related post, but I'm going to leave the standard one as related post. So then we will do if related posts and then we will do PHP for each related posts as re related post maybe or as P to make it simple. And then we'll do PHP and for each. And we need to just change this variable here to P. So now we'll go and refresh it and we should see both the posts there. So obviously you can style it however you'd like to make it a, an, a list item. Put a UL here as well. So you put the UL or the unordered list tag between if and for each. And we can just do class list group and then class equals list group item and that's a bootstrap thing if you don't know what that is and there you go okay to sum it up a post object field and a relationship field in ACF are pretty much exactly the same thing the only difference between them is that they have a different UI on the admin hope that helps and I'll see you in the next videos